everyone it's Jules with DIY with Jules and welcome back to my channel if you want to know how I made this awesome outdoor Christmas train stay tuned so I headed to Walmart and I picked up these small crates and these small round wooden discs I also picked up red and green paint and crystal clear paint because it's going to go outside then I headed to my camping area and picked up these small foil pans. So we begin by taking one of the crates and cutting it in half. You measure exactly in the center and you cut on the dotted line. You're going to begin by taking one of the wooden crates and cutting it in half. Be very careful because the wood is thin and it can break. Then you're gonna take one of the halves and you're gonna remove all of the pieces of wood and the staples. Then your next step would be to paint all four of your crates. I chose these small crates, but you can choose larger crates and you can choose whatever color paint you want. Show you that I glued the half to the top of another crate and painted it red to make the caboose. Now your next step would be to paint the wheels white. I gave it three coats and then I went on to paint them and give them the candy design. Now I'm not the greatest painter, but you can do your best and it doesn't matter because every time you look at a mint, it doesn't look so perfect. Now this is what they look like all painted in red and green. And remember that tin pan? I wanted the train to look authentic, so I cut the corner big enough so that I can fold half of it back and staple it to the front of the caboose. I also used the top of a paint can, painted it gold, and painted the front gold, and stapled it right in. And the last step would be to place the wheels on all of the crates by stapling them on to the sides and onto embellishing. Everybody knows that I am a bling girl, so I went to Walmart and picked up this pack of silver gems and this window cling because it had a cute Santa that I wanted to put in the front. I put all the gems around the front and on the wheels to cover the staples. And I added some Dollar Tree garland. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I think it came out really awesome. You can use it indoors, you can use it outdoors. It is raining outside, so I couldn't show you exactly how it would look like, but I plan on putting it around my tree after I decorate it outdoors. Thank you guys for coming to DIY with Jewels. Happy Holidays!